uh, I want to play your song, and this, believe me, this is not about an audience like you, but when I was on the Gulf Coast, I played a lot of beach bars from uh, the Mississippi coast through Alabama and all, you know, the Florabama and all those Gulf Shores bars into Pensacola and hither and yon. Um, and you have been in places where you've seen this. Something tells me that none of you were ever like this person, but there's always a guy who wants to come up and sing with the band, whether he really can or not. <laughs> this is true. Whether he knows the words or not. In fact, I don't read music, but I used to keep a music stand with a blank piece of paper in front of me just to keep some people away from me. Because back at, at, at Tacky Jacks and other places, there was no stage. You just stood there. So people, you know, could come right up and try to sing along, no matter what you were singing. So, uh, and anyway, there's always another person that tries to get you to play their favorite song, and you don't know it. And they never get that. So anyway, this came from years of frustration. Ladies and gentlemen, this song is not about you. At least it's not about you tonight. Don't sit right in front of the speakers and complain that the music's too loud. You can rest assured that I will be heard by the people in the back of the crowd. And how loud can it be? I heard you yell at me. Hey, why don't you turn that all down? Well, don't sit right in front of the speakers and complain that the music's too loud. Don't yell your request at me, buddy. If I've told you I don't know the song, I'll buy you a beer if I don't have to hear. Play Freebird, yelled out all night long. You like that? Cause I hate to tell you, the chances are not good that you'll hear it before you go home. So don't yell your request at me, buddy. If I've told you I don't know the song, I'm trying to make you all happy and play all your favorites tonight. No matter how stupid or sappy, no matter how hackneyed or trite, but give me a break. There's just so much I can take. Before I tell you where to go And take it from me Your friends here all see You just want to be part of the show Now if you've got a fear of rejection Then don't ask me if you can sing You may know the words But they all come out slurred I know your friends think you sound like a king And as you savor the wine you got braver But mister, please do the right thing And if you've got a fear of rejection Then don't ask me if you can sing I'm trying to make you all happy And play all your favorites tonight So much I can take Before I tell you where to go And take it from me Your friends here all see You just want to be part of the show Yeah, take it from me This ain't karaoke And you can't be part of my show guy. I had, that's the title song of my latest album, which was recorded at the Blue Plate Special over in Knoxville. And I knew when I recorded that song, I'd, depending on where I was playing, I might run the risk of starting a fight or something. But uh, anyway, I introduced uh, the music that I play as a hillbilly blues Caribbean rock and roll. That's what I've been calling it for years. But now there's an actual name for it. It's called Americana or something therein. Uh, so I, uh, I wrote a little song about this because I love Americana music and I'm uh, 
participate in a lot of Americana events in Nashville and other places. And uh, if, you, if you listen to that music, you'll hear a lot of things that you haven't heard a lot before in such a long time. So this song, song is called The Americana Boogie. <laughs> Take a little bit of hippie, the right amount of twang. People come from miles around just to listen to you sing. A crying steel guitar, a bluegrass mandolin. Everything old is new again. The Americana Boogie, the Americana Boogie. Put a fiddle in the middle, you can western swing it all night long. Uh -huh. You can rock and you can roll it. You can't pigeonhole. You can dig it, you can dig it, this American boogie song. They say it's hot and new, but it's a picker's deja vu. Just play those country licks from back in 1962. She's Nuvola Redlin, he's a retro artist tub. I'm a virtuoso on the walk for better of the American boogie. The American boogie. You can dig it, you can dig it, this American boogie song. It's over the hills in a modern day of drink a little old crow, and you can't fail. Western shirts and cowboy boots, honey, it's all right to show your roots. It's over the hills in Lauderdale, drink a little old crow, and you can't fail. Western shirts and cowboy boots, honey, it's all right to show your roots. The Americana Boogie, the Americana Boogie. Put a fiddle in the middle, you can keep it swinging all night long. Yeah. You can rock and you can roll it, but you can't pigeonhole it. You can dig it, you can dig it, this Americana Boogie song. Oh, thank you. This is so much fun. Um, I like, I love the blues, and I've, uh, in Nashville, I've got an eight-piece band, and that's what we'll be doing our Mardi Gras show with, but we've got saxophones and keyboards, and I play the electric guitar in that group, and we have a lot of fun with the blues. And I've always thought that just like comfort food, there is also comfort music, you know? When you want to feel better, you go to your refrigerator, reach in there, grab whatever it is that makes you feel better. But I believe you may also have that stack of, that. I was about to say that stack of records, but you know, that playlist maybe is what you've got now of songs that you just enjoy hearing. Perhaps you tune into your favorite uh, Pandora channel or whatever it may be. Anyway, this song sort of is a tribute to that. This is called Comfort Music. It might be Delta Blues, it might be blue suede shoes, it might be what this old guitar might have a mind to choose. It's comfort music, comfort music, it's comfort music, comfort music. It's like your favorite feel-good food, it just puts you in a better mood. It's comfort music. and cheat them, they both rock. Or maybe my man old is singing, sitting on the dock. It's comfort music, comfort music, Lord, it's comfort music, it's comfort music. It's what you would play if you could, just cause it makes you feel so good. It's comfort music.
sing. I call my Mississippi Kings. BP and Albert always make me feel good when they sing. It's comfort music. Comfort music. Lord, it's comfort music. It's comfort music. Said this is how it cooks for me, but you may have your own recipe for comfort music. Instagram. 
What should I expect? Now I know I'm not the only one who sees your pics and texts. By the way, this show is going out live on Facebook right now. So I want to thank all the people on Facebook out there in the hither and yon watching this little program. If you're sorry you hurt me, press one. If you're begging forgiveness, press two. Press three if you want to come back home. But if you're happy with him, just hang up at the tone. If you're Thank you. And, you know, that, that little piece of poetry right there was recorded by the Barefoot Man, and he actually sent us our royalties in a U.S. money order in advance. And we were so thrilled. That meant we had $300 in two different banks. We were riding high. So that song sat on, and Barefoot Man put it uh, not only on his cassette, but then he made a CD and put it on there. And then fast forward 10 years later, I get this uh, message from a folk music duo in California, and they had been in the Cayman Islands and they bought that CD of the Barefoot Man that had that song on it and asked if they could record it. And of course we said, yes, please do. Finally, I recorded it just a few years ago, so I, I, it took me a while to get around to it. it. It shows you the evolution of a song and where things might go. So anyway, you never know, you just never know. I'm gonna do a little, another little blues tune for you. I realized that, you know, we not only do we play um, Mardi Gras every year, but we also play a big St. Patrick's Day show, and we've played other events around Easter and other holidays, um, and here's, the, here's my game plan. You'd be amazed at the number of people that have never heard of me. I mean, I am. <laughs> but they've all heard of Mardi Gras and St. Patrick's Day and Easter, and, and so we've done the downtown Nashville Fourth of July big celebration at the Bridgestone Plaza. Uh, several times, and it's been great fun. We've played on the riverfront and all like that. But I realized I didn't have a, a, a patriotic song, so I thought, I will write this one. And uh, they say if you're going to write a song with somebody, choose another person that's already had a hit. So I thought, well, Thomas Jefferson did pretty well with that Declaration of Independence. I'll co-write it with him. So this is these Independence Blues. dreary as your back porch was last night when you slammed the door behind me without turning on the light I walked out in the dark but in truth that's where I've been never knowing where I stood or if I would see you again you say you need your freedom you take all that you can use I'll sing these independence blues Independence blues a dog and me. I don't know who has set the other free. Go on, pursue life, love, and liberty. These independence blues a dog and me. I heard a salesman say that you can't give nothing away. I tried to give you all my love. You said no thanks today. Beer is in a bottle. Sardines are in a can. You didn't realize I was in the palm of your hand. You're leaving you my loving. You're just leaving me confused. I'll sing these independence blues. These independence blues a dog and me. Set the other free. Go on, pursue life, love, and liberty. Please, independence, blues a dog in me. While I compose this anthem, call me F. Scott Minor Key. The discourse we're not having don't allow for harmony. No bombs are bursting up above a love that isn't there. You declare your freedom, you 
you know so I feel compelled to share this song and again they didn't they didn't hear the music they just saw the lyrics so I hope you enjoyed this uh, it's a shame that Valentine's Day was last week because this would be the perfect song for Valentine's Day if it weren't for you I wouldn't know how fat I am if it weren't for you I wouldn't even give a damn but if you didn't tell me how much weight I need to lose if it weren't for you I wouldn't say that I love, and Mississippi, I do believe, at least when I was growing up, had more beauty queens per capita than any other state in the Union, and I liked that about it. <laughs> I was okay with it. So this is sort of a little tribute to the, some of the women I knew when I was growing up down there. This is called Seductive Eyes. You got seductive eyes. You got a sexy smile. Southern draw, and that ain't all. Honey, I like. 
Seductive eyes. You got a sexy smile. All the way you're winking, you know what I'm thinking. Honey, I like your style. Yeah, the way you're winking, I can tell what you're thinking. That was one side. Uh, I was the last person to make a 45 RPM record that thought people were still buying them. And that was one side of one that came out in 1986, that song did. So, um, back in those, in my, uh, right out after I got out of college, I had the good fortune to become, I got into the radio business and uh, I ended up being the news director of a radio station in my early 20s. And I had a poolside apartment in Mobile, Alabama on the Gulf Coast. And uh, even then I was studying songwriting and as a journalist, we have one right here, Gary Nelson, who probably can, can uh, verify this. It was Yogi Berra who said, you can observe a lot just by watching. Well, that sort of became my motto. And as, as, so as I, I was living in that, apart, that poolside apartment, I thought I should go out and observe. And so I went to that pool and I observed a lot, all in the name of the best quality song I can bring you here today. This, uh, this is the result of that. It's called Pool People. Feel free to twist again like you did last summer. Bikini, suntan oil, another cigarette. Evian in an iPad, she's the queen of the poolside set. She's a blonde bombshell, she'll go through hell to get that perfect tan. She might even swim, so everyone will know she can. All the cool people, they're the cool people. Sunday, so at work on Monday, they'll be 